I thought I would just show you what I got done while I was away. Um, this is actually my hat. Um, I've made one other one that's like a teal hat. Um, and I liked it so much I wanted one to go with my red winter coat. So I got this one done for me. And this is a pattern again that I found on Pinterest. And I just like the way it fits. Um, it fits nice and snug. Um, hopefully it'll be warm in the winter. Um, and it just, it just fits really nice. So, um, I've got that one done. And then I found this little pattern. See, my sister is going to be living in Falmouth. And she is definitely a southern girl. She gets cold easily. Uh, we've talked about a winter coat. Um, that's going to be really warm for her, but it doesn't have a hood. So I found this pattern on, on Pinterest, and I said, Oh, won't this just be perfect for you? Because it's made as a scarf. And actually, I didn't make it as wide as it shows on Pinterest. Um, she made it like 7 inches, and this is nowhere near 7 inches. Probably only like 4 or 5. Um, I'm not a big scarf person, but this is long enough that it will go under a coat collar in the back um, fit right over your head and be a nice warm scarf so I thought that was pretty cool um, I could probably actually put it on um, bing there goes my little headpiece so hold on ah. so this is what it does and you can put it around this way. Whoops, sorry. Put it around that way. And around that way. And... This way. <gasps> can you see me? Um, and you've got a nice hoodie. And hopefully... I don't know if you can see it in the back, but I'm trying, but it should be pretty warm for the winter. I thought it was a pretty cool idea. I have a cousin in South Carolina, and she's actually made some of these. She liked the pattern, too, and so she made like three of them over the weekend. I was really surprised. So, it's, it's all single crochet. Um... You do use of it, you're using a number six bulky yarn and you're using a very large crochet hook, but it's all single crochet. Uh, the pattern called for four skeins and I actually only used three, um, so I can make something else with that other skein that I have. Uh, but you're basically, you know, crocheting the scarf part and then you're picking a spot um, and starting again to make the hood and then you're just you know joining the hood together there and then single two rows of single crochet to do the edging so i thought it was pretty cool so those were my handcrafts that i got done along with finishing the lucky stars quilt top so i'm going to be pulling out my backing which is over here and i need to do that and just Make sure I bought the amount it called for, so it should be fine. So, got to get that ready to get that quilt quilted. So, moving along, I've got a couple projects that I want to do. And one of them was that herringbone one that I've already started with some of my squares. So, I got the white layer cake and the colored layer cake. And want to get that together. But the other one I'm excited about. Again, Missouri Star Quilt, Daily Deal, this little charm pack. Which, favorite, whoops, sorry, favorite colors, purples and turquoise. I just couldn't resist. I love these. And I went back this morning to try to find the tutorial where, I'm pretty sure it was Missouri Star Quilt. And she had done, um... And what I found was a Falling Charms tutorial. and But it wasn't made. It was made, the one that I saw was made with brighter colors. Um, and I think I called for the two charm packs. 
So I've got two of these, and I actually had a white jelly roll that I haven't used yet. Hee-hee! <laughs> How happy am I about that? And this will be just sewing the charm packs onto the white jelly rolls. I'll need uh, three-quarter yards still to do a border, and maybe not even that much, because mine's going to be a little bit smaller than the one that I finally found. But that is going to be so cool. I think this is just going to be so pretty. Well, again, if anyone is interested in either one of these quilts, I mean, I will be looking to sell them. I just want to make them. <laughs> I don't necessarily need them, but they're going to be very pretty, very pretty and bright. So, we'll see where I get going first. <gasps> just so excited to work on something else. Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> I'm excited. 